Food, glorious food. Food delivers nutrients to keep our organs, muscles, and even our brains functioning. Without it, we couldn't breathe or blink or move like this. Do people still do that? But the best part about food is that it also tastes good. Well, most of it does. No offense to pickled eggs, but uh, I'll pass. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM Loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. So how does taste work? And who are the super tasters that experience food differently than the rest of us? Mammals, like you, me, and your dog, taste food using taste buds, which are made by teeny tiny cells called taste receptors. When we eat, these cells bind onto the small molecules in our food related to flavor. And the flavors that these cells can detect are sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and umami. But did you know that not all food tastes the same to every human? About 25% of us have up to four times more taste buds and thus more taste receptors than the average person. These, my friends, are called super tasters. And it's kind of like being a superhero. But instead of flying, you really get to enjoy dessert. At Yale University in the 1990s, a psychologist named Dr. Linda Bartoshuk pioneered the study of genetic variation in taste. Through her study, Dr. Bartoshuk discovered that many people were incredibly sensitive to flavor, specifically bitter flavor. And she named those people, say it with me, super tasters. She also found that 50% of the human population are just plain tasters, and the other 25% are non-tasters. But don't be fooled by the term non-taster. It doesn't mean they can't taste at all. It just means they taste foods less intensely, which might sound bad, but think of all the spicy food that non-tasters can eat to impress their friends. But we shouldn't let these differences divide us. All tasters are beautiful, and we're in this together. So, you think you might be a super taster? Let's find out. Here are some foods that you might find bitter. Broccoli, grapefruit, and chocolate. I'm gonna try the chocolate. I'll do anything in the name of science. So it's not bitter. I guess I'm not a super taster. But maybe I have the power of invisibility. Did it work? Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you wanna watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.